If you have been waiting to buy a nicer camera for YouTube or creating content, just buy it. I waited so long. I don't know why at this point, but I've got the Sony ZV-1 here. I've only had it a couple days. The beauty is it's very point and shoot. So I'm just recording it with the camera's internal mic here and it's on the auto default video settings. It's just easy and just like when you buy better workout clothes, like get some cute Lulus, it makes you wanna work out more. It makes you go to the gym and feel good about it. Same thing with the camera. Highly recommend this camera. Uh, it's especially good for talking head. You see, I've got it set here on a tripod and I'm gonna show you footage in a second of, I took it outside and it did a little handheld just to test the audio, the stabilization, the color correction. Um, you'll see the difference, but I was pleasantly surprised <clears throat> how good the internal mic is on this camera, which I saw a lot of review videos saying, yeah, it's pretty good for an internal mic. And you have the dead cat, which is that little gray fuzzy ball that kind of goes on top of it and that reduces wind sounds. I'm gonna do a full review on this camera. I'm not a professional videographer. I wanted a high quality camera. I like the brand Sony, they make good equipment. And I was debating between like the Canon Mark 7 and there's another Sony that's really similar to the ZV-1, it's the ZV-E10 and I almost got that one, but there's a bunch of reasons. I chose this one because it was a little more point and shoot. It was really good for talking head and I'm just ready to level up the production value on this channel. I got the Sony ZV-1 after doing weeks of research. This camera is really good for talking head. It's okay for vlogging. I don't even have a selfie stick and you can see the shot is a little bit tight. Like this is arm's length and you want a slightly wider shot for vlogging, but I'm not really a vlogger. Anyway, uh, very happy with the camera so far and even just on like the default standard mode, the color correction, the stabilization, all of it's pretty great. And the internal mic is not bad. I'm just using the internal mic on the camera here. I don't have a lav mic. I'm happy with the ZV-1. I'll do a full review on it soon. And if you'd like that, uh, thumb this video up and let me know. But bottom line, if you can afford it, just, just get a proper camera. I know everyone says the iPhone's good enough and it's great. It's a good starter. But if you've been doing this for years and you don't have a good camera yet, like I don't know why I waited so long, also, hot tip, if you're using Chase Ultimate Rewards points, which you should because they're the universal travel point, you can shop on Amazon with Chase points. So this is like a $700 camera. I paid for most of it with points. I decided to put a little bit onto my business because it's a business expense, which you should be writing off equipment and other expenses to your LLC. Make sure that you watch my business LLC write off tax deductible money tips video. I'll link that in the description below. And that said, I'm going to make some more videos in the coming months about how to set yourself up if you have a business or you're an entrepreneur and you want to make content, but you don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time editing it and just dealing with the nitty gritty and the tactical. There are very affordable ways to be strategic and get it done faster, better, where you're not stretching yourself into skill sets that are not necessarily a good use of your time. Like, should you go learn Final Cut Pro? and become a video editor? No, if that's not what you do, why would you spend your time and money learning that? The hours of the day are valuable. So you can use those hours to do the things that you are good at that are revenue generating. And by the way, one minute of video is typically one hour of editing, at least in the Bible of television. <laughs> you might be faster than that, but it would take me like an hour per minute of video. Like on those uh, Bitcoin videos and the financial tips and the LLC tips, I'm not a great editor. I'm just using iMovie. They came out okay. I was pleasantly surprised that that LLC video got 70,000 views with my editing. But if I'd had a professional doing it, who knows, could have probably done a lot better. Then again, you have guys like Alex Hermosi, who's recording on an iPhone in a dark closet and it's tons of views because the content is just that good. So the production value is not everything. The content is the most important thing. If your message is helpful, accessible, concise, well, well constructed, and you're not winging it, like always have a plan. Get a notebook and write down, this is the three tips I'm gonna hit in this video. You like always have a structure to it. That's the thing that's made my videos the most successful is that they are organized and structured. This one in particular, point is I wanted to show you the footage of the ZV-1 just from a pure default mode, no settings, not knowing how to use the camera. As you can see in here, it's pretty good. 
I would say it's worth $700. <laughs> That's what I paid for it. And I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check this camera out. I do recommend it so far. Anything that's gonna help you to create content, which is marketing, which drives business and sales, everything is content. So you have to show up for that. You wouldn't wanna run over to the gym in some old man's t-shirt and sweatpants. You wanna get on some cute yoga pants, lift the booty, cute little workout tank top. I mean, it's the same thing with the camera, you know what I mean? If you like this video, thumb it up, subscribe. Got more small business tips, LLC stuff, personal finance, marketing and branding, all the things you need to run a business. Cause I got two and I've learned a lot along the way and I'm happy to share my tips. Guys, I'm Emily Bender. I'll talk with you next time.